We are gonna be painting a lily, kind of orange red lily. So you're gonna start out by drawing a shark fin down the bottom like that. And you're gonna start a little bit above the tip of the shark fin and you're gonna make a little rainbow over to the side. And then you're gonna start at that same point and you're gonna kinda of draw a line up and then curve it up like that. So you're making a long triangle coming from this side. And then you're gonna start not at the top, just a little bit down and make an arch and come down into, this is gonna be called the center, into the center. Then you're gonna come not in the corner, but a little bit over and draw a line down. And then you're gonna come up out of the shark fin, draw a little bump, and then draw a big bump that comes over. Then you're gonna make a triangle by starting over here and drawing a line down into that. So triangle, 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 kind of a triangle. Once you get here, you're gonna start a little bit above it and you're gonna come up a little bit and then you're gonna come down into the middle. Then you're gonna start up here, not in the corner, but a little bit over and draw a line down like that. And then you can draw a little bit of a curve up here and down and in. We have one, two, three, four, five petals, but we need six, so let's divide this huge one in half. Let's come a little bit over from our side right there, make it big at the top and come a little bit smaller at the bottom, and then start here and you're gonna make a triangle right there, like that. So when we're painting it, don't paint in these triangles on the edges because those are gonna be your background. Now we're going to draw the piston that comes up out of the center of the flower, just a tube. Then we're gonna draw the stem in, and I hope I'm not mixing these up, they're just like little hot dogs. And we're gonna draw four of them. Okay, now we need, they're floating, so we need to connect them back down into the center with two lines. Okay, so now we have all of the parts and we are ready to start painting our flower. We're gonna paint the flower one solid color. So in watercolor, it's good to paint light to dark. So I'm, I'm gonna be making a puddle over here that's gonna be big enough that I can cover my whole flower with this color. So, and I'm gonna start with a yellow. I like to test out my color on a paper towel to see how bright it is, it's pretty good. Okay, now paint all of your petals in with that color and avoid scrubbing them. Now I'm gonna make this color just a little bit darker and I've completely lost my puddle, so I should've made it bigger. Make sure I have the yellow in there and I can add orange. But instead of adding orange, I'm just gonna add a little bit of red. Red's pretty powerful, so be careful when you add it. Okay, now I'm just gonna start adding this color that's just a little bit darker coming out from the center of my flower. I want those petals, oh, I shouldn't have went that way. So we are painting light to dark. Now once you mix up your next darker color, just gonna do the same thing, kinda come out from the center. Now I'm gonna keep getting darker, so I'm gonna mix this up again, but I'm gonna put more red in it this time. You have to be careful, if you're painting and it starts turning white, that means you need to stop and let it dry. And also it's gonna get darker towards the center, so that's why I'm usually starting in the middle of my flower. It's dried a little bit so I can add my darker colors to it because they just kept kind of washing off. So I'm just kind of making a darker and darker orange each time basically and then I'm going to come out from the center. I'm kind of looking at the shadows on my flowers and seeing where they fall and just start from the middle and come out.
If you look at the center, it keeps getting lighter, which means I need to let it dry longer. So now I'm gonna come in the middle and try to darken it up a little bit. Now I'm going to take my smaller brush, and since it's kind of dry up here, I'm going to paint in some of my, um, oh, there's a steaming. I'm going to just add a tiny little bit of blue and green to my red to darken it. And then connect them all back down to the bottom. Okay, now it's still, I, I feel like it still needs to be a lot darker in the center. So I just, I'm gonna make sure this doesn't lighten it up because I just keep doing that and it's not. You have to be patient with watercolor. Now you might want to come in and just define the edges of your petals, like is this one darker than that one, then maybe you want to just, you know, darken it up a little bit. Or in here, it's getting a little bit confusing which petal is which. So I'm going to look at my flower, and this petal is actually a little bit darker. So I'm going to take my red, and I'm just going to come along the edge of that one. I don't like that line, so I'm just going to kind of fade it out. I think I kind of need to... Darken that side of that petal up a little bit. This flower actually has some like little freckle things on the petals. So I'm just gonna get my red and make it a little bit darker with a little bit of green. And I'm just gonna put some of those little kind of freckle things in. And if I knew more about plants, which I hope to, I would know what they were called and why they're there. I'm sure there's a purpose. Maybe the purpose is to just look pretty for us. Okay, now in here you can see it gets a little bit confusing with my um, pistons, like what's going on with the stems. So I'm just gonna use my just pure red and I'm gonna come along the edges of them. So now they just stand out a little bit more. Okay, so I kind of like where this is. You might want to darken up some of these and make them a little bit more orange. Totally up to you or, you know, add some more veins and things in your petals. But right now I'm going to paint my background. I want it to be really, really dark. You can paint it black. You can paint it um, blue, green. I might just use this right here and paint it kind of like a a blue green. Paint in your background usually with a smaller, I don't like these lines, but that's what you're gonna get with a smaller brush. But it helps to have a small brush because you can get in some of these areas, like in here, which would be hard to get with a big flat brush. Try not to make too many brush strokes in that because it's it's my background, so I would prefer it to not draw any attention to itself. So 
So you can choose whatever color you would like for the background. Black is gonna be really dramatic and make it pop off. I'm just gonna add a little bit of green to my red and just come in here. And I just added a little bit more red to kind of make everything pop out of the center. And you can bring it up as much as you'd like to. Just kind of dry brush it up onto those petals. Okay, and there you have your lily. And the last thing to do is to take your tape off carefully. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. This can be done with all different age groups. Um, just make it simple. Draw the petals each one by one and then paint it in, you know, light to dark with all of your colors. And I hope you enjoy this. Hope to see you soon on tutorial and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this one.